Today, to make the most of our math block, we're going to look at math centers. I pulled out activities that go with back to school. These are numbers one to 20. There are six stations included or six math centers. I keep them in this gallon size bag just for easy storage since I have different themes for each month. The materials are just stored with paper clips with the label in front so you can quickly pull them out, put them in your bins or buckets, however you store your math centers. There are six activities for numbers one to 20 included in here. So I'm going to pull them out, organize them, and we'll go over how to play each of them. Back to school station number one is teen number puzzles. Each of the puzzles is in a pencil pouch and I copy the different puzzles onto different colors just to make it easier for cleanup and organizing the materials. Inside the pencil pouch is the puzzle. It is numbers 10 to 20. So they are going to put those numbers in order to see what back to school picture it makes. 10, 11, 12, 13, and they can look at the picture. If it's making sense, they know their numbers are in the correct order. If the picture doesn't make sense, they wanna go back and fix up any numbers that need to go in the correct order. 17, 18, 19, 20. So they can double check by counting the numbers and then looking at it to see if the picture makes sense. To clean up, you'll put the puzzle pieces in the pencil pouch and you can play the next teen number puzzle. Back to school station number two is build it. You identify the number at the top and build the matching set. These are double tens frame cards, numbers one through 20, and I put in those mini erasers from the target dollar spot just to use as counters. Here's an example. Identify the number five, build the matching set. Students can clear their board and grab out their next number to build on their double tens frame. This was back to school station number two, build it. Back to school station number three is link it. These are kept in a crayon box. There are linking cards numbers one to 20. The bottom has a hole punch for where the links are gonna go in. So you identify the number four and count out that many links. One, two, three, four. And attach it to the matching card. When you get to the teen numbers, the numbers are punched with two holes at the bottom. So you have your link of 10 and count on 10, 11. So this was back to school stations, number three, link it. Back to school station number four is math around the room. Students are going to be hunting for these cards around the room, counting how many glue sticks are in the tense frame and recording it by the matching letter. So one, two, three, four, five, they are recording five. And then going around to find the next card. Just a little helpful tip, I hole punch these so they come on and off easily and you can switch them out each week. That was math around the room, back to school station number four. Back to school station number five is dab it. This can be printed onto a whole sheet and using dabbers. This time I printed them four to a sheet and laminated them so I could reuse them. I'm gonna identify the number and find all the matching representations or arrangements. So just go ahead and cover any one that matches six. Once they found them all, they can clear their board and grab out the next dab it. Station number five, dab it. Back to school station six is bingo. We have the mats, calling cards that have double tens frames and single tens frames, and mini erasers to cover our board. Each student is going to have a bingo board in front of them and they'll take turns using the calling card to identify how many. And once they call it, the other students are going to use the counters to match the number. So the first calling card is 16. They wanna find that on their board and hand it to the next person so they can have a turn doing the call. 14, find it, and then keep playing for station number six. 
bingo. Those were our six math stations for back to school numbers one to 20. I will link any of the resources and materials I used in the video today in the description below. If I'm missing anything, leave me a comment and I will go back and add that. If this was helpful to you, leave me a like so I can make more videos like this and stay tuned for more videos of making the most of our math block.